Why do you need responsibility before going into flow? It combines the power of the mind with the wisdom of your heart and it just helps you to unlock your potential. Hey everyone, welcome to my Shiny Minds shop. Hello everyone, my name is Shiny Burjuin Sal. I am the proud creator of NeuroShine Technology, the Shiny Minds show, and your NeuroShine coach. Let's talk about responsibility today. What a heavy topic. Ugh. I'm going to make it lighter. Listen, there is a big phenomenon out there. We all know it. The law of attraction. And we read the book. Did you read the book? The secret, right? I did. And then I was like, well, this sounds so easy and so simple. You just, you know, think about it, put it out there to the universe and boom, the universe brings all that to you. Mm, not so much. Because the law of attraction and the book secret is actually missing a very big element in the process, which is the mindset of responsibility. And that's exactly what I want to talk about today. I have three reasons why you need to first be responsible and own your own life before going into that mindset of flow and asking the universe to do its magic in your life. If you're ready, let's go. Number one, universe supports action. You know, we live in this quantum field and we call it the universe. And at the end of everything, at the end of like you, there is energy. See, we are all made up of energy and quantum field and energy understands energy. When there is momentum, then there is action. When there is action, that speaks to the universe. So when you are in the mindset of responsibility, owning your own life, having that decision-making power that this is my life, I own it, I need to do something about it mindset, that's what the universe actually wants. The universe wants you to take action because we live in a universe of creating from nothing and turning energy into matter, right? So if everything is energy, I mean, at the end of everything, at the core of everything, there is energy. But when we look at each other, when we look around, we see matter, we see physicality, not energy. So then think about it, just apply the physics into your thinking and understand that in order for you to create something tangible, you need to start with intangible, yes, with the thought. And then you are going to take action, action what creates tangible results. And that's what universe wants. And that's exactly why when you have a goal and a dream, the first thing you gotta do is to take action, take massive action and really show to the universe that you mean it, you are going to attract it. And all the energy, the energy of the momentum is going to gather the forces in the universe to support it. Number two, let's talk about your personal power and your independence. When you don't have the mindset of responsibility, do you know what you do? You literally sit down and, you know, have this like wishy-washy, dreamy, yes, universe is going to bring it to me type of a mindset. And it's not going to be enough. I'm telling you, if you go directly from victim mentality to flow mentality, if you let go of the responsibility in the middle, it is going to be incomplete. And when I refer to these mentalities, of course, first, I need to tell you, there are four levels of mentalities, four different mental states. The first one is victim mentality, where you don't feel like you are the owner of your life, when you don't feel like you have the power. Number two is where you have the personal power and responsibility. Number three is the flow mindset, where you can actually let go because you know that you have done everything in your power. And number four is the oneness mindset, when you are totally in oneness and unity with everything that you are and everything that you have in your life. And that is an 
absolutely fantastic mindset to have. And we all begin somewhere. We all begin as a victim because the goal, the, the dream, it looks too big. The actions that we need to take, they seem overwhelming and the process seems difficult and hard and we don't have the time, we don't have the money. That's where we begin. And then we need to shift to responsibility where we are like, okay, you know what? I am going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to create the time, create the money. I am going to make that happen. It's my own life and I am going to bring my personal power. And at the end, I am going to create my own independence. And number three is inspiration. When you are a responsible individual, when you take action, when you really get the results that you have been dreaming about, you become an inspiration for others. You contribute to the world and you matter, you make a difference. And that gives you self-actualization and that gives others inspiration to achieve the same. You inspire and invite other people to achieve the same and that's exactly why you need to have that responsibility mindset before asking the universe to support you and to create some magic for you. You cannot just sit down like in the secret or in the law of attraction and just like think about it and it's just going to come to you. It'll happen after you have taken the steps after you have taken action and after you have claimed your power and you manifest that it is going to happen and you are involved the universe is not going to create a life for you you are going to create you are going to co-create your life together with the universe so there you have it my three reasons why you need to have responsibility before going into flow i hope it served you I hope you liked this video. If you did, can you please put a like on it and share it with your friends so that we all become responsible individuals. Of course, I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel because Shiny Minds Show is all about your growth and maximizing your potential so that together you and I, we can make this world a better place with more love and Shiny Minds.